Welcome back to our channel. It's Tessie and Quincy from Q's Herders. We also have Lucy here today. We're going to be doing three quick styles that will be perfect for back to school. We're starting to get back to school hairstyles ready as I know lots of kids are going back soon and we are going to be having a baby so we want to get lots of easy styles in the back of our minds that we can do quick and get out the door, right? Yeah. Quincy's excited. What grade are you going to be going into? Kindergarten. <laughs> Alright, so before we get started with our three styles, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And you can also subscribe to our channel so don't miss any of our future tutorials. You can also follow us over on Instagram and Facebook where we post multiple times per week. We have lots of styles over there, shorter styles on Lucy as well as longer styles on Quincy and I. So let's get started. And we'll start in the crown section by adding a bit of water and spray gel and brushing through the hair. I will link all the products that I use below. Now we will take a diagonal one inch section and split this into two. Cross the front piece over top of the back piece and add a one inch section of hair to the new front piece. Cross over top of the back piece and add hair to the new front piece, smoothing each section as you go. Continue <coughs> adding hair and crossing over top of the back. This is also a brush that I like to use to smooth out the hair if you're having a hard time getting it smooth. I will link that brush below. Be sure to hold your hands close to the head and angle your hands where you want the hair to go. When you reach an inch or two behind the opposite ear, take the remaining hair and secure it with an elastic. For style number two, we will start parallel to the part line in the crown section. Take a one inch section of hair across the entire crown and split the hair into two with a smaller section in the front and a bigger section in the back. Cross over top of the back section and then add a one inch section of hair to the new front piece. Smooth it out and cross over top of the back. Again, add a one inch section 
all the way to the back of the crown and cross over top of the back section. Add hair again, continuing to smooth as you go. And we will repeat those steps, continuing to add hair until you have braided the desired amount in the crown section. Now I like to take both strands and twist each towards the front and cross to the back a few times just before you secure the hair with an elastic. Secure with the elastic right next to the last hair that you added in to keep it nice and tight. For style number three, we will start with style number two, and then we'll be brushing the remaining hair up to this side next to the end of the rope braid. Add water and spray gel to tame those flyaways. Of course, I sped this up for the sake of time. Now we'll be adding our signature messy bun. Wrap the elastic around a few times until it will be the last time that you wrap it. Then split the ponytail in two. Curl the top half up and hold with your fingers. Curl the bottom half down and hold with your thumb. Now take the remaining elastic and pull it over top of those buns. Adjust the buns by pulling on the ends of the hair. Now we will take those ends and curl them around, tucking them back into the elastic. And if the hair is long like Quincy's, they will need to be pulled all the way through and tucked in again. Repeat with all of the ends. And if you need more help with our signature messy bun, we have another tutorial that I will link below that's slower and more detailed. Add a bow and you're done. Thank you, Quincy, and next time. Bye. 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 Bye.